Firstly, in terms of successes, I mean, it's been an incredibly busy last three years, uh, and I'm privileged to uh, have been the chair that's uh, been the beneficiary of seeing some of the projects that were uh, put together by the management team in England Athletics and by my predecessors and by the sport as a whole come into fruition. But I was extremely surprised when I first became chair about what I found. The financial challenges that UK Athletics had were considerable. Uh, and bluntly, they had dwindling reserves and increasing costs and reducing income. And I think together with the England Athletics Board, we took a sensible decision at that point to take more responsibility for events licensing, for uh, the development of coaches and the development of officials, so that not only could we make sure that those services were protected, but also we could help UK Athletics focus on the challenges it had financially, but also on uh, the elite performance part of the sport. Um, at the same time, we've been through a, a cost of living crisis, and I think the team have done a great job of keeping our costs well managed, keeping our financials in a very strong position, despite that uh, high inflation background, and have avoided passing substantial costs onto the clubs and athletes in the sport. Um, we've managed, though, I think, to increase at the same time both the diversity of uh, the people involved in our sport, particularly around uh, the um, councils and committees. We've increased the support that we give to clubs through uh, the club fund and club improvement fund, and also um, through the launch of um, the Personal Best Foundation, which I think is a real move forward in terms of making sure as improved access for even the most vulnerable or disadvantaged within our sport. I think we're increasing the way that we listen to people and acknowledge people as well. We've now got the Athletes uh, Advisory Council and one of my favourite parts of the year is the Regional Volunteers Awards where we recognise people quite often who, who've uh, been involved in the sport, delivering to those around them for 50 years plus. We've seen increased external investment in talent through the talent pathway. And we're seeing the benefits of improved investment around our, our whole uh, club structure and setup in terms of um, the performances, both from the Commonwealth Games, then the Youth Commonwealth Games, and then English athlete, athletes at um, both the Olympics and the Paralympics.